Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Bezame Mucho. Bezame Mucho is regarded as one of the most popular Latin pieces ever written, and it originated in Mexico, written by a singer, songwriter, and concert pianist whose name was Consuelo Velasquez, and she wrote this piece inspired by Granados melody. Now, this is often played as a bolero, which is really common uh, South American song form. It's usually a slow romantic song and different to the previous bolero we did in our previous lesson which was a Spanish bolero so slightly different um, genre here even though they're both the same name. So today I'm going to show you my chord voicings for this piece and we're going to play it in a Latin jazz context so really we're looking at Latin jazz chords played in a bit of a bossa nova feel and then I'm going to share with you some improvising ideas over the form so hopefully my arrangement of this piece will give you some inspiration on how to play it and do some improvising and how to solo over it with some confidence. I've also done a solo arrangement of this piece which you can go to the link above so let's get stuck in. If you want to support the channel or have access to play along tracks backing tracks and all the lesson notes. You can join LGM members on my blog, link above. So this piece has an A section and a B section. Let's start with the A section and we'll just play through the chord progression. We're gonna start with a D minor seven chord. Then we're gonna to go to a G minor. So this is our sort of fifth position D minor seventh chord. Then we're gonna to go to a G minor. And then I do this sort of descending thing in the bass. This is a really common thing to play in minor chord Latin pieces. Now by definition it's a G minor, G minor major, G minor 7, G minor 6. But really you could just think of it an internal chromatic line. Okay so now we're up to bar 4, we've got G minor, D7, then we go E half diminished, and then A7, and then back to D minor. You can also voice it going upwards, which is what I've got in my solo version, which is... Um, but as an accompaniment, I prefer staying in sort of the lower position. So it's G minor, D7, E half diminished, A7 and D minor. And I do that internal line here as well. D minor, D minor major 7, D minor 7, D minor 6. Then we go to our A minor 11. Sometimes play it as A half diminished, but we have a, a, a D in the, in the melody. So A minor 11, sometimes also called the sus4. To our D7, back to our G minor descending pattern. And then the final uh, two bars, D minor, B bass, E7 flat nine, A7 flat nine back to D minor. Okay, now B section, we, we start in G minor on the chord four. Back to D minor. A7 flat nine, D minor, D7, G minor. Back to D minor. B bass. Then we have an E7, B flat, seven, a7 and then that's the end of the B section so that takes you through the chords that I'm playing Okay, let's now have a look at some solo ideas for this piece. So I've written out this solo and I'll, what I'll do is I'll play through the solo and tell you the basic scale and uh, chord tones that we're using. So we start with the D minor scale, which I repeat first in this octave and then go up an octave. This is a really good device to use also when you're soloing is repeat the melody up the octave. So you could use D, 
uh, natural minor or harmonic minor here, which works really well. And then we're up in fifth position. And they're kind of more like chord tones there. Then we go to G minor, chord tones. And then what I do there is I just follow the that chromatic line that happens here. I like to bring out those um, internal internal voices. Next bar, we're still basically staying in D harmonic minor, but over the D7, I bring out the chord tones because this is not a chord in D minor. It's actually the five of G minor. So just bring out more of a D7 chord tones there. Then we have E half diminished to A7 to D minor. Now that's a two, five, one. So I, I pretty much play arpeggios here. Descending and then ascending arpeggios over those two, five, one chords. Okay, now the next couple of bars, we're actually switching into, into a G harmonic minor scale. So we're gonna be playing at E flat. Uh, descending thirds over the so basically you've done a, a, a little move to G minor which is a, a small departure from the D minor so over these two bars uh, over these four bars and then I do it over the, uh, the next G minor chord I play a blues lick more of a pentatonic blues lick here just for a bit of variety and then to finish off this A section descending third and then we have an E7 flat 9 arpeggios then A7 again some arpeggio chord tones that's the end of the A section then going into the B section I start to vary the rhythm a little bit more so I go into triplets crotchets and then triplet quavers Kind of gives it a little bit more movement. Now we go over the D minor thirds and then ascending line. Again, it's a 2 5 1 over D minor, so I'm playing D harmonic minor. Again, we have our D7, so I bring out the F sharp. And now I go to sixths just as something different uh, with chord tones over A7. Our melody in D minor uh, in triplets still and then we go to our E7 and then B flat again chord tones brought, brought out to our chord 5 which sort of takes us back That's it for me. If you enjoyed my arrangement or this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to get more of these Latin jazz videos. We also look at popular Latin fingerstyle songs from Spain and South America. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.